Greetings and Happy New Year! I know it's been a while since my last video. I haven't been very active in making videos in 2023, but one of my goals for 2024 is to change that and to make more quality videos for you guys. So stick around in my channel and I hope you guys find videos that you find enlightening or helpful or just enjoyable. So today's video will be about the three paths to extreme wealth. And when I mean extreme wealth, I don't mean just merely being financially well off. I'm talking about the wealthiest people in the world, the extremes, the extremely wealthy people who make up the richest people in the world. And we will look at the Forbes list of billionaires um, and I will use the real time list. And this fluctuates, of course, it could change when you um, check it yourself but this is the current list of the time of making this video so we will look at the top 25 uh, richest people in the world and see how they got that wealthy and I think there are really three main paths to extreme wealth and all 25 of these and I think all extremely extremely success, uh, wealthy people got like, their extreme wealth from one of these three paths and I want to point out that no extremely wealthy person, and I mean billionaires and that sort of wealthy, got to where they were wealth-wise by relying on a cash salary. All of them became extremely wealthy by their ownership interest in wealth generating assets, mostly businesses, but also real estate, land, intellectual property, etc. So anyway, let's discuss the three main paths to extreme wealth. And the first main path is inheritance. And this is the classic path to extreme wealth. This is the traditional path of the, to extreme wealth. If you think about history, the kings, the rulers, the landowners, most of them got their wealth and position based on inheritance. They got it from their families. They in inherited from their families. And Nowadays, uh, a lot of people also inherit their wealth from their families. And I don't want people to think that inheritance is a lazy path to wealth. It, that doesn't involve a lot of work because this is really the opposite of the truth. Because in order to build family wealth so that you can pass it on to your descendants, your family, if you become very wealthy in this way, I had to put in a lot of work to build that sort of wealth so that you can actually become extremely wealthy from your inheritance. And it also takes work for you to maintain that wealth and pass it down to your children, your grandchildren, and your descendants. So it's not a lazy path to wealth. It might be pretty easy just to receive it, but you can easily lose it and you might not be able to pass it on to your descendants if you don't work to maintain it and grow it. So if we look at the Forbes list of the wealthiest people in the world, then we will look at the top 25 in that list. The wealthiest um, people who got their extreme wealth from inheritance would include members of the Arnault family. I wouldn't say Bernard Arnault relied on, purely relied on inheritance. He did come from a wealthy family and his father did own uh, his own company. So he did inherit wealth, but he didn't inherit billions. He grew the wealth he had and became a billionaire. But his family would inherit a lot of wealth from Bernard Arnault. So I would say Bernard Arnault would partly fall into this category. Another one who would fall into this category would be Mukesh Ambani, who inherited his fortune and his company from his father and Francois Betancourt Myers, who inherited the L'Oreal fortune, and the Walton family, David Thompson and his family, who, who inherited the Thompson wealth, which owns Thompson Broiders. And if you don't know, um, the Walton family founded Walmart, and also the Cove family. So this is, these are the people in the top 25 wealthiest people in the world who 
got extremely wealthy from inheritance. I think inheritance is also a pretty good path to extreme wealth because it gives you purpose to when it gives you purpose when you work for not just yourself you're working for your family because you're working to create an inheritance for your descendants or if you have inherited extreme wealth then you're working to maintain that wealth and pass it on to your descendants so it gives you purpose to know that you're working not just for yourself you're working for your family your loved ones moving on the second path to extreme wealth is single major successes and what i mean by this is enterprises that become extremely successful and make the entrepreneur extremely wealthy so this is the path for the visionaries the entrepreneurs those with great vision and it really highlights the fact that it really only takes one very successful enterprise to make someone extremely wealthy if we look at the Forbes list again the, of the in the top 25 of the richest people in the world we have a lot of people who got very wealthy by this path and that would include Elon Musk who founded quite a lot of companies and we also have Jeff Bezos Larry Ellison Mark Zuckerberg Bill Gates Larry Page Sergey Brin Steve Ballmer Amancio Ortega Michael Bloomberg, Michael Dell, Jung Shan Shan, and those are, are the billionaires in the top 25 list of the richest people in the world who got their extreme wealth from single major successes. So what I mean by this is they founded, they had one extremely successful enterprise that made them extremely wealthy. Of course, a lot of them also built upon that success and became even more wealthy. For example, Elon Musk, he started off founding a really successful enterprise that later became PayPal. It got merged with um, whatever, another company that became PayPal. And when he sold that startup, he got a lot of money that he used to build another company and another company. And that's how he got to become the richest man in the world as of today of course you need to have a great vision you need to have an inspiring vision because that can attract investors that can contribute to your enterprise it can you need to attract also team members and followers and employees who want to help you build your vision and you of course you need to attract customers so it helps to have a great vision but one of those people on the list Zhong Shan Shan who's the richest man in China he his extreme wealth derives from his water company his company say it sells uh, bottled water so it, it doesn't need to be a world changing vision but it does need to have and it does need to differentiate uh, itself so his water bottled water company differentiated itself because it marketed it itself as a healthy alternative that didn't process out the minerals in the water but most of the these entrepreneurs had a great vision and that's how they were able to inspire people attract investors attract team members and attract customers another thing I want to point out about this path to extreme wealth is you need to have a plan to profit from your vision and your work because just because you have a vision and just because you're willing to work hard from it doesn't necessarily mean that you will profit off it if you aren't intelligent in managing how you will benefit from it and what i mean by this is when you have a startup and you, you want to attract investors if they take a huge amount of your company then you might not be able to profit a lot from your company. If you let other people like investors, like um, other co-founders, for example, uh, take more than their fair share from your company, then you might not become extremely wealthy, even though you were responsible for a lot of the work that built that enterprise. So you really need to have a plan to benefit from your work you need to have a plan of how you will profit off your work so that other people won't leech off you because it is your vision it is your work and you should make sure that you profit off it 
Moving on, the third path to extreme wealth is to build a portfolio of assets. So this is the long game. This is the, the path to wealth that involves consistent success over time. It involves working hard and being successful consistently over time and these successes add up and make you extremely wealthy. So, and there's a saying that mountains are climbed one step at a time. And this path to extreme wealth most encapsulates that saying because it didn't take a major single success to make you extremely wealthy. It didn't take an inheritance windfall to make you extremely wealthy. It took a lot of successes and added up, they made you extremely wealthy. So billionaires in the Forbes list of wealthiest people who became extremely wealthy from building a portfolio of assets over time within the top 25 include Warren Buffett, Carlos Slim, Helu, Gautam Adani, and Prajogo Pangestu. So these businessmen, these um, wealthy people, they didn't have one major success that defined them, that made them extremely wealthy. They didn't have an inheritance windfall that made them extremely wealthy. They had successes and added up over time that made them extremely wealthy. They built businesses and they built more businesses and eventually they added up and made them very, very wealthy. I want to emphasize again that extremely wealthy people didn't get there by relying on a cash salary. You can work very hard, you can have a lot of successes at your job, uh, but if you're relying, if your job is based on a cash salary, it wouldn't make you extremely wealthy. It can make you financially well off, but not extremely wealthy because cash can be spent over time. It can, it's used for expenses and also nowadays, fiat currencies and inflation can devalue the value of your cash. So it's really important to have ownership interests in wealth generating assets. That way your wealth can generate more wealth. And another thing I need to point out is the concept of exchanging time for money. So there's this, um, so the, the working class and middle class mentality for making money is you spend your time and labor, you exchange your time and labor in exchange for money. So you're getting a cash salary from your time and labor. And this is the working class and middle class mentality for money. But your time is limited. This will limit you because you only have so much time that you can spend to exchange for money. But if you have a different mentality, if you have the mentality of the rich, then there's a different way of making money and that is to make your money work for you. Instead of exchanging your time in exchange for money, you are using your money, using your wealth to make more money. You are investing your money in wealth generating assets to grow your wealth. So the wealthier you are, the wealthier you get. And there's no limit to how wealthy you can get because you can become even more and more wealthy. So you aren't limited by time as you would be if you're relying on the formula of exchanging time for money. Because when you have your money working for you, then you can sleep and your assets can still grow. So this is a good mentality to have when you are growing your portfolio of assets. Instead of being limited by your time because you only have so much time in the world to exchange for your money, instead think of how you can use your money to invest and make more money. You need to think about how to make your money work for you. So don't be limited by time, conquer time and make it work for you. Of course, when you're starting out, it's good to work at a job to accumulate some money so you can invest it and build your assets and also to accumulate money so you have money to start up a business. But afterwards, you really need to focus on working to build your businesses, your assets, instead of exchanging your labor for cash. So those are the three paths to extreme wealth. I think a main takeaway from this video would be that ownership of wealth generating assets are key. The extremely wealthy people get extremely wealthy by owning and growing their assets. So for in terms of inheritance, the extremely wealthy people who got there from inheritance 
inherited assets, they inherited businesses, and they were able to maintain and grow those businesses. And same with single major successes. You need to be in an ownership position in the startup and company to be able to become extremely wealthy from that startup and company. And same with building a portfolio of assets. You need to build your wealth generating assets that you own. If you just build your cash pile, that cash can be spent or it can be devalued from inflation. So owning wealth generating assets is the key to extreme wealth and working to build those assets, using your time to build those wealth generating assets instead of relying on just exchanging it for money is how extremely wealthy people are able to get even more extremely wealthy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and comment your thoughts and subscribe to my channel. And all of these actions help me with the YouTube algorithm, so I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.